Hello everybody, it's Niklas and welcome to this new video on Digicam and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the light table. So we have a light table, the light table, the aim of this mod is to compare the photo and I'm going to show you some basics with this mod. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want to continue to follow me. First link on the description the complete course Digicam is available. So if you want to organize all your photos, you want to master the software, you want to use also all the different adjustments to enhance any photo, this course will be perfect. It is on the first link on the description. And you will see the models, the session, what you will be able to learn and concretely you will be able, able to master perfectly Digicam. Digicam, uh, it is free and it is open source, great software to organize and edit pictures. So let's start with light table. I can find light table <laughs> just on this area. And after to see this one, you can compare picture. So for example, if I select this folder, I have different pictures and I can click on light table and I can just drag and move two pictures. So first I can, why not use these pictures on the left and I can move this picture on the right. I can see the first picture and the second pictures. I have different options on the left. So here I have the property of the pictures, the metadata, and I have also the histogram photo on this picture. And if I go on the right, I can do exactly the same thing with these other pictures. So you can compare the different parameters, right pictures, left pictures. If I click here, and if I click here, I can extend a little bit this area. So after here, you can zoom and zoom in, zoom out. Sometimes you can <laughs> synchronize the pictures and you have also by peer. So it means if you synchronize, you can zoom in, zoom out on the two pictures at the same time. But if you click by pair, for example, you can just zoom in, zoom out on the two, but you can change the picture. For example, I can click on this one, click on this one and apply by pair. I can deactivate now synchronize. And now I can zoom only on this one and I can zoom only on this one. So you can deactivate synchronize and work, for example, by pair and you can zoom in, zoom, zoom out. You can move on this picture and you can move on this picture also. Uh, not at the same time. If I come back on synchronize, now I will move on the two parts at the same time. Here you can change the photo, the picture on left and on right, just like that. Something important, when you edit a picture, if I just come back, you can close the table. If I just come back here, I can select one of the image that I want to improve, for example, this one. And these pictures, I can select the image editor. After to go, to go on the image editor, I can enhance with color and I can select uh, like U saturation lightness, reset the parameter by default and increase the vibrance and the saturation to have better color on these pictures. And I can click and validate. At the same time, I can go on color and I can select to change a little bit. I would like to select the color, the color balance. And thanks to that, I can re reset by default and I can add a little bit warm color. I can work on the red, on the, on the right, red on the right. Here, magenta and maybe yellow. Yes, I think magenta I can stay with around zero, maybe minus two and create something like this. And I can continue with different adjustment like color, brightness, contrast, gamma. Default first, I can increase a little bit the contrast and a little bit the brightness at the same time. Just like this. And I can continue to enhance and Let's apply little local contrast. And it, local contrast is very important to improve a picture like this. And I can just validate. So after to do this work, 
I can save as new version. So thanks to that, I have different version of this picture, the original and this new version. You can close the editor and come back to these panels. After what I can see, I can see that I have this first picture and the second picture. So this is the main version, the original version, and this is the second version. And I can compare with the light table, click on light table. And if I go directly on the left, uh, I can see this picture here. I think it's not extremely convenient. I don't find all my pictures. Uh, I need to close this one first. And I'm going to come back here, image, first select these pictures, light table. And now I have the two pictures here. I can go left click, drag and move this one here, left click, drag and move this one here. And we can see the difference. I didn't improve too much, just a little bit. And I can zoom in, zoom out. Here I can synchronize or apply by pair. If you apply by pair, sometimes it's invert, so I can come back here and I can uh, deactivate by pair and come back with this one and with this one. Yes, just like that. Now it's better. You can also click here, zoom 100% and fit to window. Let's activate fit to window also on this area. And you can see the difference between the first pictures and the second pictures. And if you want here, you can zoom in, you can take a glance about this area and I can go on these pictures. I can zoom in also and I can drag and move and see little the difference about the details, about the color, about different things. So this is the main interest of the light table. It's not something incredible. So aim is just to compare picture. You can select the first one, the second one. You can compare, for example, two versions. You can compare two different pictures. You can also take a glance about the properties here. So I will have same properties on the right and left. But if I select now color and color, I will have something little different about my histogram because I apply improvement on this picture. So uh, it is OK for that. We are going to stop here for this little tutorial on Digicam with the light table mode. If you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. A lot of content about graphic design, different type of graphic design, but it can be 3D modeling, photo uh, editing, a lot of great free software, a lot of great uh, open source software. I like this type of open source software. Digicam is one of the best. And first thing on the description, the complete course. The complete course is available. So if you want to learn more, if you want a complete structure here, it's just small tutorial to show you main things to show you why it's interesting to use Digicam. But after, if you want to really learn in details with a course structure, step by step in detail, explaining slowly, it is on the first link on the description, Digicam, the complete course. Subscribe to this YouTube channels and for the next video, see you. Ciao, ciao.